TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz. In, in this tutorial about Microsoft Word 2010, we're going to talk about cell margins and spacing. And again, I'm going to draw your attention up here to the Layout tab. And on the right-hand side, we have something called cell margins. And I want to just talk about this. If you've ever done any kind of web design or any other kind of design, sometimes what they're referring to here as margins, I think of it more as what's called padding. And what I mean by that is you'll observe over here on the left, my name Tony has a little space between the left-hand side and my name. There's a little bit of space there. And I can add more space just by clicking on this and going up. I'm going to click OK so you can see what happens. See how it added more space? And it will add more space for everything I do, anything I type in here. I'm going to click on Undo because I want to undo that. Even though I'm showing you how to do that, I urge you maybe not to use that only because sometimes when you start working with cell margins and start doing things like that, especially if you have content in here already, it can really throw things out of whack. And sometimes I'm not sure it's really worth it. Maybe just a little bit, but not too much. But another thing I want to show you is, again, if on the Layout tab, a thing that I think might be a little more useful in a way is, again, if I click on Cell Margins, sometimes I can see how it can be beneficial to allow a little bit of spacing between cells maybe just a little bit of spacing but I'm gonna go down and click on OK and you'll see I've added a little bit of spacing between the cells now I personally think that's sort of an interesting look so it just adds or can add a different dynamic to your table and what I like about it is just frankly the visual how it looks when you print something out so this is a table that almost looks a little more like a feel of a calendar than in some previous examples we had used. So there's a lot of things you can do in here. Don't necessarily recommend all of them, but I do want to point them out to you. My name is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for being here. Have a great day.